Hi everybody. Um, I'm having a new Gambian pouch rat. His name is Poseidon from the same breeders that I had Hades from. He's actually Hades' cousin. This is another Pet Planet rat and ferret cage. So I thought as we're getting a new one, we'll do a build video and I'll also give you a good look around it and the pros and cons, so sort of like a cage review type thing going on. So anyway, my darling husband, Bobby's here. He's the, he's the labour for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so it's his job to be building stuff, not mine. I don't do building. Right then. <laughs> so shall we, uh, yeah. shall we start taking it apart? Themselves, it's quite good quality. Quality, they've got a rubber uh, tire on them mm. and seal bearings. That's good. Other than the top, that's not seal bearing, but the actual uh, we also got them. I think they call the racer bearings. Mm. Yeah. I said the, the one upstairs when it was on its stand because we'd have to take Hades off the stand because he could get on the on the, the shelf that runs around our bedroom. So we took it off the sand, stopped him climbing up. Um, but when it's on its stand on the carpet, it's so easy to move. It really is easy to move. Even though the, the cage itself is, what's it say, 69 kilo, I think that says, or something like that. And it, it does weigh a lot. Right, so the, the actual fixings themselves are an Allen key fixing, so you do get the Allen key provided, but I don't use these. I mean, you, you, you've, all you need really to put this together is what is in this bag, but for speed, I would much rather use- uh, Because he's awkward. <laughs> a drill with the correct bit to match that Allen key. What size is that? I don't think it says. I think it is a number four. four I think. I think. It's about four men, I think. But yeah, everything comes with it to put this together because it's, you know. But yeah, so on my kit there, it says it's a number four. But what you do need to think about is when you. Uh, assembling this just to get them in finger tight and then take them down with the drill if you just go straight in with the drill you'll probably end up th cross threading that bolt so just thing. finger tight until you know it's clear and then go in with the drill if you want to if not then use an allen key provided so you can be in charge of those they're all the same size aren't they i think so i think uh they appear, they all do appear to be the same length, yes. So, I mean, I've had the one upstairs for three years, mate. Yeah. For three years, it's due, because I had it for my birthday. Um, and I have... We'll do the base first. Touch yeah. wood, I've never had any problems whatsoever with it. Get the base done. Yeah. That looks can I have that? That's good. Does the enamels come off it somehow there and there? It's not enamel properly. That's the underneath, which is yeah. never gonna get yeah. seen. So I've noticed with the one upstairs that I um, originally when I brought it I had fancy rats um, because the bar spacing on this I could just about get up to my knuckle I think it's 
something just about, I think it's about one and a half centimetres, but I will measure the bar spacing on this. Also, with this cage, the bars go from the top all the way down to the bottom. And the same with these, they're one single, um, the bars that go from left to right are also one single bar. So they're tacked in four places. And it, it is quite a strong cage. Um, you actually made a grid for the bottom of mine, didn't you? Um, it did worry me at first because of the weight of the grid that we have attached to the middle shelf the underneath. Never had a, I mean, it was great, never had a problem with it. These are very sturdy cages. Very strong. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out why that one was shorter. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to attach these together. Right, so. so just finger tight. You don't want to over tighten them and damage it either. Oh. <laughs> what you also got to consider is you see the lip on this. Can you see the lip there? That's got to be on the inside of your cage. Because that's where the base actually sits. Hopefully, that our hope is that Poseidon and Hades will actually live together. Um, now, this cage is, uh, the internal dimensions are two foot by three foot by four foot tall. And um if so that's fine for one gambian if you have two gambians then you what are we are going to do is we're actually going to put half of this cage and attach it to the other cage upstairs in our bedroom um but for now we don't actually have the room for another full cage in our room right now um so the reason i bought it two weeks before he's here um, we've been talking up in a couple of weeks' time. It's purely because if there were any issues with the cage, um, as you saw the boxes got damaged in transit, if there were any issues, I could contact Pet Planet um, and they'd get it sorted out. So what you've got is, at the bottom of these, you've got a rubber bond, and all these do is they just push in. And they don't come out. Once they're in. Yeah. I think the one upstairs actually still got the, even though you've taken it apart, you couldn't get, you couldn't get those out, could you? I don't think. No. Not without a lot of force, so we yeah. just left them in. So but, what we'll do is... So that's the back and that's the front. If you put it the other way around, you won't be able to open the doors. Right, so there's our rolling chassis <laughs> um so the top uh, and so this moves very very look out um, it does it, it's well, because it of rubber rubber um tires mm. so we're going to start off with the bottom of the cage so the bottom is really important that you get this right i don't know if you want to lift those up to the camera to yeah. show the difference in because that, that ledge there so the bottom cage you've got one ledge on the bottom you haven't got a ledge on the top, just one on the bottom. So I'll show you about that. And the ledge goes on the floor. So we've got another ledge this side that goes on the floor. Then make sure the, uh, the front of the cage is the right way up. So you'll know that by this clip. 
at the top here. That's very important to stop escapes. Yes, and then obviously make sure you've got that. Yeah, this is the top as well because the bottom yeah. actually slots into the top there. And, yeah, okay. and then the back, make sure that when you're putting the back on, you haven't got it the wrong way around. So you want this horizontal uh, bar outside the cage. That was going in until you moved it. <laughs> Remember, finger tight first. And no, I don't smoke in the same room as any of the animals, by the way. Just me? No, just you. Okay. Probably doesn't smoke, but... Um, Don't smoke in the same room as Hades at all. Just me. Just you, yes. Don't tighten these top ones up too much when you're putting the bottom ones in because you need that slight movement. Nine ninety nine. Um, when I bought it, there was a sale. It had fifty pound off. So it's fifty. It's actually come with two hammocks as well. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> okay. So that's the bottom done. Now you can see there's holes in this, the top of this here. If you don't have holes in the top, then you put it on the wrong way around. You may have put the top, uh, assemble the top first instead of the bottom. The top cage actually slots into this, uh, but we'll show you that in a minute. Now, although we put these in, we may be taking these back out in a bit because when we put the other cage on top, um, it kind of it goes through there. Then you put this bolt through, but this way of doing it is mm -hmm. just a lot sturdier. Yeah. So that the, the bottom of the cage hasn't got any holes in, whereas the top of the cage, well, the middle of the cage has got a hole for, for your pets to climb down. Mm -hmm. So this is going to sit on the ledge at the bottom. Now this actually today has um, a couple of holes each end on right up on the, the side. And that is so if you need to, you can obviously pay it or tie it in. Um, I've sure never, okay. ever, ever had a problem. There you go, opens fine. Mm. So this little toggle here, make sure it's not too tight, it's not too loose. Too loose it will fall out, the, the bolt will fall out. Too tight, what will happen is it will stay in that position. You don't want that, you want it to fall into that position. And the reason for that is, See how it's resting on there now, the, your animal can't push against it, but if it isn't and it's stuck in that position, the whole cage will open and your rodent or whatever, your gambian or, or whatever, <laughs> will um, be wandering around your bedroom early hours in the morning. And then waking you up and yeah. freaking you out and so you scream the house down like I did when Hades did it. So that's important. <laughs> That was hilarious though. You 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 figured out it was Hades and I hadn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, so top of the cage is slightly different. You've got two ledges. So this is the ledge for the middle um, tray. tray to fit on. And then the top ledge is for your lid to fit on. So if you can hold that. And then I'll have this on this side. Now remember you get these the right way up as well because there is a hole in yeah. the top yeah. so you can actually screw the lid on. So there's our front and our back. I'm not exactly sure how we are going to attach this yet to the top of our other cage um, but we'll figure it out.
Right then, so what I'm going to do now do is. You have got to unscrew off. You're out, yes, yeah, yeah, you're off, yeah. I've just realised that. Yeah. <laughs> but at least you need to get it in place first, really. Okay. Maybe you can manage. So, what we do is we take these two out. I mean, once it goes together, it, well. So this is the one with the hole in it. We like to put them at the back. Mm -hmm. okay. And the thing with gambians, once things are in place, they like them kept that way. So you should end up with two, two bolts. Right, if, oh, yeah. yeah. So, right. and then obviously, the lid has got these holes in that correspond with the top. Let me get off. Um, there is a, a reach in here for it to sit on. Yeah, there. Put that in there. It's pretty easy to put together, really. It is, yeah. Um, you've just got to make sure the two sides you get in the right position. That is the only, otherwise you will not be able to get the lid on. Right, these two, so one goes in this corner, and then I tend to put one up in that corner there. So this one is for the bottom down here. Now you do need these, right, you've got to make sure these are in, otherwise you can't get these to stay in place. No, that one has to go into the hole. It goes that so way, in that right. corner. That's it, that oh, way. Yeah. yeah. That one just got to come down. Yeah. Rich. There you go. And then that, and this, this one. And there you go, job done. This one does have a couple of scratches, but I'm not really bothered because it's just cosmetic. And then... Slightly, thank you. Okay. There you go. That one's in place. That one, I, I am going to get rid of the cupboard to that one. Now, that one. So you got two doubles. Two doubles and a single. single. So the. One double goes in the middle. I've never understood the need for a double realistically because it doesn't actually reach the edge of the. That one. Where's this going? That one there. there. Yeah, there. And then obviously this that one. one. What we did uh, with Hades, um, so because he doesn't actually have these ladders in anymore, but what we did do is the top of the ladder where it attaches to the shelf, we actually um, cable tied that from underneath. So when you cut the cable tie, any sharp bits are underneath where they're not going to get to. And it just kept them because he kept knocking them over and he just didn't need, mm. you know, especially when he was having a tantrum. Um, so, yeah, just cable tie them in, but cable tie from underneath if you want to. Um, you can, with the bottom one also, it's got two holes in either end, you can cable tie those in, but I've never seen a need to do that because they don't lift them up. All right, so this is the Pet Planet Rat and Ferret Cage. As I said, one Gambian happily will live in this. Um, if you have to, two Gambians, you do need sort of extend it so I'm going up when I extend ours so it's gonna have another another level on top um, so as I said 
$199.99 at the moment, but they're usually around £250 uh, when you get them. And in my opinion, it's so worth the money because it's so strong and sturdy. Um, sometimes you get them and there are little imperfections like that's not completely straight. But it doesn't take two seconds to sort something like that out. So, um, but as I said, I don't, I think this has been the only fault is that is a bit bent. Yeah. I think that's yeah. probably happened during yeah. transit as well. The one we've got upstairs, I said, uh, next month in June uh, 2022, I've had it three years. Right. The only issue, um, as I said, that I've had before with Hades is obviously first it's the this mechanism here. So you've got to make sure when you have one of these, that's always down when you shut the cage at night. Now... And wash their little tails when you're shutting Yes. Yes. Um, I did accidentally catch one of my fancy rat's tails in the door of one of these, and I degloved his tail. So you, and I'm really careful now. But anyway, these... Gambians are very, very intelligent. And Hades figured out that if you put his paw through there, he could knock that sideways. And then he figured out if he could get enough force behind it, he could do that. So what we've done is we've got these, and I think these were what? Yeah. Packer. Is that one pound fifty for the two? Or yeah. Something like that? It's just an range. extra safety precaution um, because I'm so OTT, and uh, Rich has to do it because my hands aren't brilliant. But literally, they just hook through, and it stops him pushing it through enough to open the cage door. So. And I mean, they're literally 150 and they work so well. So, and if you've got little children in the house as well with any any rodents in cages, if you grab one of these, job done, and it stops any escapes or any accidental kids letting them out. Mm. Right. It does come with two hammocks. Hang on, let me get a bit closer to show you. So, it comes with. Two little hammocks. They're not bad actually. My fancies quite like these, didn't they? They're nice, quite nice and soft. So it does come with those for free. So Hades won't use a hammock. Um, obviously, fancies love hammocks. They really do. Don't know whether Poseidon will use it or just chew it. We'll just have to find out, won't we? <laughs> Can't wait for him to come. But personally, I prefer this cage over others. Um, I know a lot of Gambian owners do have the Savic Royal XL, I believe it's called. Um, but my, this is my preference. Um, with any cage, there's pros and cons with every cage that you get. Um, but for me personally, I love this cage. And as you can see, I mean, it's it's really solid, and so far Hades has not managed to break anything, has it? Even with well, all these temper tantrums. That yeah. one's, but it's meant to go underneath. But yeah, but you remember what we did last time? Mm. We went over like this. Yeah, we? we actually pulled these off through the bars, and so we could actually shorten them. So, which makes a big difference. I don't know if Poseidon will use them, but hey, may as well try them. Mm. With my other one, um, Rich actually um, attached a one inch square metal grip underneath here on the, onto the bottom of this middle tray so we could hang things um, from the, middle, the bottom of the middle tray, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, for the fancy rats. Um, and this cage held it up really, really well, but you've got to think of the weight and stuff like that. Yeah. Fancy rats are not as heavy as gambians. No. Plus, gambians aren't really climbers, are they, to be honest? Well, like, they are. Not, they're just no good at it. <laughs> yeah, not, not like fancies. Not like, not like fancies, no. Fancies, I mean, because of the bar spacing is so small in this, you can have quite young fancies in this as well. Um, gambians are like teenagers. You know, yeah. Like doss around all day, just be lazy. Yeah. Especially if, if it's hard work with the Gambian, they're like, yeah, no, no. Mm. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video.
um, a bit different from what I, we normally do. But yes, so there you are, I have it. It's the Pet Planet Rat and Ferret Cage for you guys. Bye!